Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, we're going to talk about a specific example uh, of finding the mean and variance of a linear combination and this is an example of a linear combination where you have um, this guy over here which uh, can actually be written as w is equal to 3x plus negative 1y plus 2z and clearly from this you can see that um, this is representing a1 this is x1 uh, this is a2 and x2 this is a3 and x3 so i'm just um, replacing all these values with corresponding a's and x's uh, according to this formula given here because what we need to find is uh, we're going to start off finding the mean of w and according to the formula it has something to do with um, multiplying the expected value of x with its constant labeled as a okay so uh, that's what we're going to do now we move on to finding therefore expected value of w in this case Okay, expected value of this guy, this is the linear combination, is going to be equal to the summation of, according to this formula, is ai dxi, i from 1, in this case until 3, because we only have up to 3 random variables, x, y, and z, yeah. And um, uh, if we apply all the subscripts properly, it's going to look like this x1 plus a2 dx2 plus a3 dx3 okay and what is a1 uh, we can clearly see that a1 is equal to 3 this is is actually ex okay and a2 is negative 1 right here and this is actually related to y x2 is actually y and then a3 is 2 and x3 is actually z in this case and we're just going to substitute the value of ex uh, this is the value of ex2 so 3 times 2 plus negative 1 times this is the value of uh, ui expected value of y which is negative 3 and then this one is the expected value of z which is 4 and then you can see that this is equal to 6 plus uh, 3 plus 8 so 6 plus 3 9 9 plus 8 is 17 so that's the expected value of w uh, this is quite easily done really uh, now let's move on to the next um, thing that we have to do is to find the uh, variance of this linear combination and the formula to find the variance is looking a bit complicated but don't worry too much about it we can um if you look at it and feel it too much or too daunting for you we can always separate the process into two parts so we can just start with this first uh, get the value of it and then we find this this bit right here and we just add the the results of these two parts yeah so that's what uh, i'm going to do actually okay so we're going to start off with uh, part A, so this is part A, get the result of it, this is part B, get the result of that, and add the result together, okay? Alright, uh, okay, let's focus on just this one first. Okay, we're going to find um, this right here, according to the formula, is AI, you square it, and get the variance of XI, I from 1 until 3. Okay, uh, let me just write down again what's W. W is 3 times X plus negative um, 1 with Y plus uh, 2 with Z. Okay, and we know that um, these are A1, X1, this is A2, X2, and this is A3, X3, yeah? Okay, mm. now let's move on to this part. 
So what happened uh, according to this formula is what we need to do is we need to just substitute the values of i into this position respectively. So we're going to have a1 squared gradients of x1 plus a2 squared gradients of x2 plus a3 squared gradients of x3. And we're going to stop at that because we only have up to 1, 2, 3 random variables. And what's the value of a1? This is a1. So we've got 3, you square it, variance of x. This one, x1 here corresponds to x. Okay. And then we have negative 1, you square it, variance of y. Actually, we're talking about variance of y. And finally, we have 2, and you square it, um, multiplied with variance of z. Here we've got 9. What is variance of x? Variance of x is 1, variance of y is 5, and 2 respectively. So these are the informations related to uh, the value of variances for x, y, and z. Yeah. So 1, 5, and 2. Okay, so this is 1 plus, this one is times 5, this one is times with 2. So what we have is 9 and 5, 14, 14 plus plus 8 is 22 yeah? okay so that is the first part uh, already done then let's move on to uh, focusing on the second part of it so this is the second part that's what we're going to do so for the second part right here what we have uh, is 2 this is double summation where i is less than j and we have a i a j covariance xi xj okay so what we need to do now is we're going to substitute all the values of i and j's accordingly and here we're going to start off with uh, a1 so a1 is going to be combined with a2 notice that uh, j the position of j here has to be bigger than i so 2 has to be bigger than than 1 and then we're going to substitute that accordingly with covariance x1, x2, yeah. And then move on to the next one. We have a1 combined with a3. Again, uh, make sure that the value of this one here is bigger than uh, this one. j is bigger than i. And then we have here covariance x1 and x3. And we're going to stop at that because uh, we only have up to three random variables next combination that we need to consider is a2 with a3 covariance x2 x3 okay and i think uh, that's all um, that we have really so next uh, what we're going to do is we're going to substitute a1 and a2 so a1 times a2 is i'm just going to write down the result straight away uh, if you don't mind so a1 and a2 is negative 3 covariance x and y okay, you're talking about covariance x and y plus a1 times a3 so a1 times a3 is 6 covariance x and z plus um, a2 a3 so a2 a3 is negative 2 covariance um, y and z Okay, so um, covariance x, y is um, this one, negative 2. So negative 2 times with negative 3 is 6 plus 6 times with covariance x, z. x, z is negative 1. So we will get negative 6 right here. And then plus covariance y, z. Covariance y, z is 1. So negative 2 times, sorry, what's the value again? Negative 2 times 1. So negative 2 times 1 is just negative 2, yeah? Mm. Negative 2. <clears throat> and, uh, well, that can be cancelled out. So we've got negative, negative 4. Okay, so that's the second part done. Next, uh, what we can do is we can write down the answer for this. Therefore, variance 
w is going to be equal to uh, 22 plus a negative 4 the result that we have here okay have to be added okay added and the result is going to be equal to 18 okay i think um, that's all for now thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video